Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash ASYM for the top 10 stocks to buy right now. 3M used to be one of the most steady companies on the market, an industrial company that had its fingers in everything across the economy. But over the last decade or two, it's really fallen behind and profitability isn't what investors thought it was. The company isn't innovating in the same way it was. But is the stock of value and a good buy today? That's what I want to dig into. My name is Travis William. Thanks for watching Asymmetric Investing. Please subscribe here on YouTube for all my content. And if you like this video, check out my newsletter, Asymmetric Investing. I have a link to that in the show notes. And I want to just go through a couple of the highlights from the most recent earnings results. This is the high level overview. You can see that, and this is the walk from Q2 2022 results to Q3 2023, to Q2 2023, which is on the bottom. You can see that margins are declining really rapidly. There was restructuring charges of $212 million in the quarter. That was part of that, but there was raw material headwinds, foreign currency exchange headwinds, and that more than offset things like organic growth and productivity gains. The other thing I always look at with 3M is their segment results. Now, there's only four major segments now. The company's gone through a number of restructurings over the last couple of decades. But safety and industrial, organic growth is negative 4.6%. Transportation and electronics, organic growth, negative 2.4%. And consumer, things like post-it notes, scotch tape, organic growth, negative 2.2%. So almost across the board, the healthcare is the one outlier there. The company is seeing negative organic growth. That's exactly the opposite of what you want to see with a company like 3M. And remember, we're not in a terrible economy. This isn't a recession. This is not companies aren't buying products anymore, or aren't selling goods anymore. There are certainly headwinds in certain segments of the market, and we're seeing some of that with 3M, but this is also a very diversified company. So the fact that there's such broad-based decline, I think is really alarming. Now for the full year, I'll note that management did increase their adjusted earnings per share guidance to $8.60 to $9.10 per share. So as a result, with shares trading at $107, at about $107 per share, the next 12-month price-to-earnings multiple, which is what you see right here, is about 11. So that's a pretty good value multiple and enterprise value to sales of 2.2 is relatively low as well. But here's the question with 3M. You may be getting a good PE ratio and the dividend yield is 5.6%, but are you buying a company that's in structural decline? And I think that's actually the bigger concern for 3M. A lot of their products are being commoditized. The supply power that they had when they could be a preferred partner with big box retailers, with small retailers that could grow internationally. A lot of those growth metrics and the, the supply power that they had is just evaporating. And that means that competitors can come in and sell in online stores, undercut them on price, maybe make a little bit more niche product. I think that's fundamentally the problem is that the tailwinds that really drove 3M for a century are starting to reverse. And what we're realizing now is that a lot of that growth was driven by the fact that 3M had a lot of control because it had the supply power. Now customers have all kinds of choices and are they ever choosing 3M intentionally? The answer is probably not. 3M does not have a lot of household brands. It doesn't have a big presence online. It's just not a company built for the 21st century. And we have seen that slow deterioration that we know that the top line is under pressure and there's only so much you can do to cut the business to improve the bottom line. The irony for 3M is the more that you cut operating expenses and R&D, manufacturing, things like that, the more you lose the core of what you were as a company, what made you the innovative company that you are, and the more you give up future organic growth. This is the catch-22 that 3M has been in for basically the last 22 years since Jim McNerney took over. And I don't think the company has ever found a good path forward, a way to invest in growth and grow the business. So does the stock look like a value today? Yes, but I think that value is really a trap for investors. And so that's why I am staying out of 3M stock. But what do you think? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to Asymmetric Investing. And like I said, if you like this video, check out my newsletter, Asymmetric Investing. I have a link to that in the show notes. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you here next time.